Hey everyone, welcome to the studio. It's Karen Jean. Football Sunday. I have an Eagles jersey on. Number 86, Zach Ertz, who they traded to the Arizona Cardinals. I think it was last season, uh, which I was not happy about. Could have been two seasons ago. Anyway, so what we're going to do in the studio today, Football Sunday, we just watched the uh, game in England, the Panthers uh, no, not the Panthers, uh, the Jaguars, Jacksonville Jaguars, Doug Peterson, who used to be the coach of the Eagles, and uh, the Buffalo Bills, and Buffalo lost. It was pretty sad. Their defense was getting injured left, right, and center. But anyway, the Eagles don't come on for another few hours, so we're in the studio, and I am going to flip the camera in just a second. We're going to uh, tea dye some paper, it, because the weather has all of a sudden gotten chilly, the windows are closed, it's like in the 50s right now. I got my, well, never mind what I have on. I have my polar polar fleece pajama bottoms on is what I have on. Um, but anyway, uh, tea dye some paper. When the ch weather turns chilly, it's when I want to start quilting again. So, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to tea dye some paper and we're going to make little tiny journalettes out of the jello boxes because that's what I feel like doing today. Okay, let me turn you around and let's get this going. Is a big bowl of tea. I've been saving my tea bags, so this is the second second thing of tea. What is that? I think it's just bubbles. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just bubbles. Okay, and these are the little boxes of uh, jello boxes that we're gonna do. So let me get this ready. Let me get this ready. Okay, here are the two litter box lids that I use. When, and these are just plastic, uh, just different texture stuff. But these are the two litter box lids that I use when I'm doing paper. And there's some purple still in there. So let's go get some paper. I'm grabbing a big stack because it's a lot of tea. So what I want to do first is I'm just going to crumble some up. If I can. I hope everybody's doing well. All right, so we have that. Here we have some tea. Whoops, as I splatter it around. Oh, that's, a, that's a lot of tea. But I'm not quite sure how dark it is either. Now, is this going to fit in there? Ways down? Uh, maybe I can make it fit. I suppose I could. No, I don't want to. I can cut it, certainly, but then that would. Um, then I would hurt my fingers because I'd have tin or aluminum edges. All right, there. there we go. Weigh it down. Boom. Whoops. Now, oh, the tea doesn't look to be very dark. So, again, it's the second steeping. And I usually leave my uh, tea bags. I like a nice strong cup of tea. So, I usually... leave it in my cup when I'm having my tea. I'm not quite, we don't know. This is an experiment. This is an experiment. And here we go. So, uh, putting those aside, whoops, that might fall in. All right. And we'll take a look at those. 
I don't know, in a few days. Okay. So this is my idea. I just pulled these off of the scrap pile. This is that beautiful flannel, right? And then this is a scrap of this lovely fabric. Right, 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 right. And I pulled out these two six by six pads, which are cardstock. Um, and it's single sided cardstock. But uh, yeah, not quite sure where we're going with this, but let's see, let's see where we're going with it. I don't know. What we're gonna do first is we're going to open this up. Uh oh. Oh, this this might be a really small journalette. Look at that. Uh nope. Um hmm. Yeah, we're going to need to be doing some reinforcing here. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Quarters. Two and three quarters. Okay. Um, oops, that's... Aye. That, because I still have all this stuff out. I still have everything out when we were doing little autumn journals. Okay. Now, does that look square? to you. Let me get my quilt rule here and see if it's square, square. Yep. Close enough. Square. Mm. Yep. Okay. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to get, uh, what is this? No, nope, not that. This. I'm going to cover them with this. Okay, I'm back. Let's check because I banged the phone. Okay, here we have these. Now let's let's put this one aside for now, and let's pick out a couple for here. Um. Mm, no, that's too soft. That one would look like maybe better there. Oh. These are all pinks. See, this would look great on that one. Okay. That one look nice on there too. Might be too big though. Um, the print, the design on it might be too big. This, this looks like the design of this will go with the design of that. And of course, what we, I should be doing really, honestly, is pulling out the scrap bucket and maybe we will do that next. Um... Yes. All right. Let me pull this one out. This one is just the flowers like this here to go with here, to go with that one. And these over here, I'm looking for, I know I have a green in here, this. That one's too, too much, too much of the green, it wouldn't match. Um, okay, and scraps, scraps, scraps. Let's, let's go through these scraps and see What did I say? I said this was, uh, so it's 
two and three quarters by three and a quarter. This one will work. All right, that one will work there. Again, it's single-sided though. I should go to my double-sided. Oh, I was saying how it was, you know, everything was closed. The windows are closed because it was all nice and chilly. Now, of course, I'm up here without the windows on, and I was just over with the iron, and I'm getting a bit warm. Ain't no pleasing me. Ain't no pleasing me. Mm. As you can tell, I have no idea what we're doing. Um, so I need to cover the inside covers. What do I want to cover the inside covers with? This, I think. So I need to cut down the inside covers. Oh, three and no three and three and an eighth by. Two and a half, three and an eighth by two and a half. Okay, so we're gonna chop off the, well, three and an eighth, hmm. Oh, well, no, that's fine, because, well, no, it's six. It's gonna have to be three by two and a half. It's gonna have to be three by two and a half. Three. by two and a half and by two and a half oops okay so that's the inside front covers and then what am I going to I usually put fabric down the middle there. Uh, it should not be a problem. I'm using the Fabrifix on this because it's going down on top of fabric, of course. So just thin squiggly lines of Fabrifix. Plop it down there. And this one. Oops. And I'm going to put eyelets in and a little bit of ribbon for the closure. So, now it's true, I haven't been up here in a week again. Well, I've been up here in my bedrooms across the hall, I haven't been in here in a week. Let's put it that way. There. And I don't know. Is this the front or is this the front? It's pretty. Okay. Make that the front. I really don't care. How big is this spine? Oh, not very big. It is about three quarters of an inch. So... One or two signatures, with maybe two signatures with three pages each in it. I don't know. Um, so we're going to cut this down to there. Three. And we said three by... And it's going to do some migration. Uh, five. So we take an inch off. Three by five because it's going to be folded in half. Okay. So. And this really, I really should, this really should be a scrap buster. Obviously, I'm not using scraps. Um, 
I'm not using scraps. Shame on me. Let's go back into the scrap bucket. One would think I would have enough purple scraps around, right? Because, hello, it's me we're talking about. Um, I need to... Let's fix that edge there. And how wide is this? Three... Five, five. How big is this? How much do I need to take off? This is six. I need to take off an inch. I'm going to take off this white over here. There. Well, there's one scrap. Also, okay. So there's one scrap. Let's get the scrap bucket back out. Now here are some scraps. Uh, the colors are right. So, uh, not too sure about the design, but the colors are right. I have been wanting to use this. I got this I bought from soap that I bought. Oops. Um, at, uh, I was going to say Trader Joe's, not Trader Joe's, Tuesday morning. Um, that's silver, but I'm thinking the gold dots, maybe we can, it's backed on paper. Okay, let's try I don't know if that one's long enough. Yep, long enough. It's backed on paper. Okay, there's another scrap. Uh, ooh, and we have glitter scraps too. All right, let's just take those out. Um, anything else from here? No, nothing else from here. But, all right. Now, now it's lovely. And this is going to be the signature center somewhere. All right, and let's do this now. You don't belong there. Um, you, I need to cut down, hold on. I know, I'm measuring and measuring and measuring. You would think I would know by now. Three inches. Um, going to follow the gold dots is what I'm going to do. Right there, right there. Okay. And how wide do I want it? I want it to be... Uh, two inches. Two inches, following the gold dots, making sure that's... Oop. We just make it there. All right, three inches, three inches. And three inches, three inches. Hmm. Hold on. All right, I'm taking it. Let's use some of this new yellow tape, which is supposed to be the tape. The tape. I am going to sugar shoes. I'm gonna sugar shoes is what I'm gonna do. All right, that's three inches. Right there. Mm, does it look a little wonka doodle to you? Again, optical illusion with the darn dots. 
at the darn dots and this there, there. Um, hmm. I need to score it on the other underside. This is this is getting to be a little bit too much work for me, folks. Uh, how much did I say it was? Three, no, it's not three quarters. It's three quarters. It's seven eighths. Seven eighths. So that's not what I wanted to know. So where's the middle? This is three inch, it's two inches. So, so one inch. So, so it's not gonna work. Two inches. I need to score it at the five eighths and at the uh, and at the. That's no, that's not. I'm trying to find the center point. Actually, I'm trying to line it up with these two things right there. This is two inches. All right, two inches right honestly so okay one inch looks like okay so right there half an inch and one and a half inches okay this should work uh half an inch and one and a half inches let's hope that works because this is on Oh, that's what I saw. Dag nabbit. Uh, this is this is on. That's not what I wanted to do. Hello. That's what I wanted to do. It is on a cardstock. I don't know the weight. Could be eighty pound. I don't think it's one hundred and ten pound. God, I hope it's not one hundred and ten pound. It doesn't feel like one hundred and ten pound, but you never know. I don't think I would have put it on one hundred and ten pound, but again, you never know. <sighs> I do love the new setup with the bookcase using it as a shelving unit here, but there's there's a gap here and things are getting lost. Things go underneath it. So let me just put there, bit of glue there. Okay, now making sure. Okay. So my concern is that because it's because it's like a heavy cardstock that um, it's not going to stay stuck down. And now that I'm putting all this glue on it, I was thinking I should have just used my scrapbook.com double-sided adhesive tape. <sighs> anyway, let's get this nestled in here. Nestled in, nestled in. Jack Nabbit. Stay stuck down, please. Nestled in. Let's see if it'll work. This is supposed to be something easy. It's supposed to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Not this. I'm not sure it's going to stay. quite honestly, and what I wanted to have just a nice little one video, because I haven't been around in a while. I don't need to make this into two separate videos. We don't need this to be two separate videos. So maybe we're just going to make it, I, I will do some editing, but maybe we're just going to make it a long video. And what time is that? Jeez, we've been at it almost an hour since we sat down. That's before we even did the paper, paper thing. Um, so we're not, oh, uh, I don't know if it's staying stuck. All right, I'm going to give that a little bit of time. So we have this, and we have this, and we have this. And where'd the other one go? Signature center. This is a signature center. It's a little bit smaller. Oh, gosh golly. It's fine. Uh, what, what is coming up here? Oh, 
I'm happy that, oh, heavens, heavens to Betsy, that I'm able to finally use this. I've had this for, I don't know how many, well, at least three years, if not longer. Um, shea butter soap made in England. It was lovely soap. But it's always hit and miss at Tuesday morning, and I haven't been there in a very long time. I haven't been anywhere in a long time. I don't have a car, right? Right, exactly. I do not have a car. There's a buy me a coffee link. That would be appreciated. Um, not that I expect you guys to buy me a car. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> at all that's not what i'm saying at all but it helps keep the light it help keep it would help keep the lights on let's put it that way keep the lights on right motel six we'll keep the lights on for you um i like i said i don't want to this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna flip this one this way oh hello hello come on behave Flip this one this way. This will go center here. That's looking crooked. It's looking crooked. Why is it looking crooked? Did I cut it crooked? I could have cut it crooked. I could have cut it crooked. Let's do this. That looks fine, but this does not look fine. There. Because, you know, these things bother me. And these things will bother me. Okay, so, and there we have this one to this one. Lovely, lovely. And then what we're going to do is we'll put this in. And that'll be it, because those are heavy. Now, remind me. Three by five. Three by five. So we're going to, first we're going to trim this down on a line, okay, there's, oh, didn't, didn't copy, is it straight on this side, straight on that side, must have been, when it fed it to do the double sided, must have been, and I probably should be doing this the other way, I should. But here we have it. I'm going to cut it down here. Nope, that's fine. Uh, five inches. This is... Well, no, I do want to cut that off because I want... Right there. I want the grids to go to the edges. Five inches. I'm not going to count grids. Five inches is right there. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Right there. Five inches. Okay. And another one. Oh, why is it this way? This probably would have been... Yeah, duh. I should have done it this way. Okay. Some waste and paper. Waste and paper. Okay, so we're going to do three inches this way. And this is five and a half inches, right? Yes, it is five and a half inches. So we're five and a half, we're cutting off a half an inch. That would have been a heck of a lot easier, Karen Jean, if you just did it that way to begin with. You would have been able to not waste paper. Okay. Okie dokie. Whoops. Oh no. Now I don't know where my. Did I do this one? I, I pulled it out, but I didn't put it in. All right, well, there we go. So here's one. And here's the other. All right, yeah, it is. Here's the other. And we're going to do it that way. And we're gonna do it this way. Unless we want, no, I because of the way that is, I want to be able to, right, see the whole thing when we open it. Otherwise, if you do it that way, 
We could do it that way. No. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna make it the signature center. Bum diada. Because I said so, right? Because I said so. Okay. Ugh, I'm making this a lot more difficult than it needs to be, my friends. Most definitely a lot more difficult than it needs to be. All right, here we go. Three whole pamphlet stitch. Okay. And back up through the self same. This one's supposed to be on the other side. There. Ooh. And hopefully it's not crooked. Oh, for heaven's sakes, it was on the other side. Make up your mind. Somebody go over there, please. Thank you. There. One, two. Snuggaroo. Honestly. One, two. Mm. Keeps on twisting on me. Snuggaroo. There we have it. Now, it's fine. We have, hmm, what do we have going on here? We have this not staying down is what we have. I don't hear it. No, I don't know where it went. So I'm putting a piece of paper towel on top to catch if there's any glue that leaks out as there was. Okay, we have, what's going on? Is this loose? It shouldn't be loose. Does it feel loose? Well, Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And while I'm here, while I'm here with my eyelets, I'm going to eyelet. What color are we going to use eyelet? What color? We could use silver. Silver and gold. Stick it through there. And pull it through there. Okie dokie. Whoops. And what we're also going to do is we're going to use our little paper clip right there to train it to close. We might have to glue down. What am I doing again? Might have to glue down um, the knots. And also I might have to knot the ends of these together. Um, but we'll see. There. Should have made them longer. There. Well, what can I say? That's been an ad been an adventure. Our cute little journal. I don't know. We'll have to figure out something. We could do corner. We could put corners on it, the metal corners. But I don't know. They might be a little bit too big. We shall see. But I do like this, right? I don't think I've used this anywhere. So... Maybe use it on the inside. I don't know. I like it. It's here. We'll figure something out. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Um, making a mess, as always. An even bigger mess now. Because now I have more things to clean up. <laughs> this is Karen Jean. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And thank you to all my new subscribers. And welcome. Welcome to our family. 
We are only limited by our own imaginations. Let yours run wild. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.